Tried to force it in front off Bovillier. Grabbed by Ryan Pollock. He's got space. He's got time. Pollock snaps one off the body. Loose puck just outside the crease and tapped wide. Down is Sandstrom. Bovillier. Pollock scores! The Flyers goaltender never got reset. Adam Pellick opens the scoring. Do you think he took his time there and lined that one up like about a 30-foot putt that won the battle and Anders Lee is fighting to get in front position. And Ryan Pollock says, well, i got to find an opening. And finally, a little wrist shot in front. Deflects off Sealer and then the Anders just stay right with it. What a beautiful pass by Anthony Povilli on the backhand. Didn't waste time. You can still see Anders Lee doing what he needs to do, but... Any really good flow to it. A lot of turnovers, a lot of neutral zone play. Feels like more like an exhibition game, frankly. There's two shots so far for the Flyers, six for the Islanders. As Provrov down for Hayes to the front, they score! It's Sedlak, who's able to backhand that one over the shoulder of Varlamov. And the Flyers, who really haven't had any chances to score, tie the score here late in the first you are you're not finishing your checks you're not you're not focusing it's it's a nice easy game let's just see what happens in the middle of the ice where and there it is with Casey Sezikis gets caught watching the puck and you got to be aware where your men are and Sedlak just wins the battle towards the net every Stanley Cup was different but uh, those last 10 minutes of the games and uh, you know, you still get a little nervous when you watch those games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the, uh, the ending's not going to change, is it? But uh, I hear you, Kenny. What do you, what do you think about present-day Islander uh, hockey? And then Provrov lost it to Nelson. Brock Nelson pulling away. Nelson, shorthanded, save Sandstrom. Breakaways, he steals the puck from Provorov. Look at the back check, hard, coming hard. Brock Nelson keeps his feet moving. Puck around the boards, Dobson on the keep-in. His shot blocked immediately by Sedlak. Brown returns to Sedlak. And then Brown, Aho with a good poke check. But this is wrist line and wires one gloved and held by Varlamo. And then the Flyers would get an opportunity to wrist the line and wires his shot. But, ah, oh, no, I got this one all the way. With Wallstrom and Barzell. Trying to change a little bit, but Daly is a much, very much of a playmaker. Sedlak's pass interrupted by Bailey. The rebound, they score. Joel Farabee was able to just tap that rebound off the bar and in. And the Philadelphia Flyers have taken a 2-1 lead. That's Braun is going to get that puck up and away the Flyers go with, with some real good speed outside. And look at that one-timer. You got to look around again. I mean, that, that's the watch Noah Dobson as he takes a little look. Mark your men. Taken by Tony D'Angelo. Taken by Holmstrom now to the slot. Pajot in front. Parisi denied a couple of whacks at it. And Sandstrom able to make the save. Parisi got buried into the net. Ready for the Adams to take advantage. Pajot giving it really hard for Parisi to maybe deflect it up, up and over. Tough place to stop for Matt Barzell just inside the blue line. Doesn't give you a lot of room to manipulate. Wallstrom able to skate ahead. Parisi's pass returned to him by Ristolainen. Ristolainen's clear hit off of Frost. Stays in the zone. Touchdown low. Parisi to the backhand. Power play goal for Zach Parisi. And the Islanders have tied the score. You see the quick pass in and... Now the battle, the one-on-one -on -one battles continue. Who's going to win the battle? Lifting the stick up, beautiful play, and the quick pass. And five-hole by Zach Parise as he got a wide, wide turn on it. And it's Josh Bailey that hangs with it. Ryan Pollock, a quick pass. I don't think that Wallstrom touched it at all on this way to Zach. Watch the move of Zach as he just hangs on and waits for the opening. Gets his opportunities. Backhanded from Hayes to the net, and Varlamov had to make the stop on Faraby. Then this shot from the line, stopped by Varlamov. A diving effort by Sezikis, and then Clutterbuck. Well, 78, we got knocked off by Maple Leafs. We had a really good year that year. Mike was scoring like uh, like record goals, 60 goals. Uh, our team was on fire, we, but, you know, we, we weren't ready to win. We just didn't have that uh, the depth. Nessaqua, something like that, it was great, but you like, your neck of the woods is a fun place to go. Big hockey fans out there. And, 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 and it's, uh, Brian, as you would attest to. Nelson oh! scores! Oh, Brock Nelson, the leading goal scorer, adds another. The Islanders take the lead. How could a relief?
pace does he have? Compare him to what? I mean, this is probably the most pure goal scorer the Islanders Beautiful. have. No, he's wonderful to watch. We're a big, big fan of Brock Nelson. He's been he's getting better as the year go every year goes by. He gets more confidence. Wonderful to see. Yeah, he's, I think he's really starting to find out what he's all about. I think for a number of years he was like, am I a checker? Barry Trotz had him as a checking combination. What do you call it? The transformation year where all of a sudden, you know, they, they realize, hey, you know what? I can I can make something happen offensively as much as be responsible defensively. Well, it's a lot more fun to score. Oh. Oh. It for two. Trotz, what do you do? Do you like the way the game's played today? I mean, you and I played in a different era. Uh, there are things you can't do anymore. There are things you can do. Oh, I loved our era, but it's like our era was great for us. Like we we reveled in it, obviously. But I think to watch the speed of these guys, the the, the skill level, how they move the puck at the uh... Hayes with it now. Got to be yelling when you come on the ice. Sharp angle shot, produce a rebound. Marlama. Couple of stops, and Zizekas plays it down the ice. Anthony Beauvillier for Ryan Pollock. Now for Wallstrom. Wallstrom shot through a screen. Parisi digging away at the rebound. Sandstrom's got it covered. On the whistle, just a little chip shot. Wallstrom looked like he was going high short side, Brendan, and couldn't quite get it all the way up. Ten seconds left on the minor to Delorier. Josh Bailey across the line for Parisi. He scores! What a shot! Two goals tonight for Zach Parisi. Take a look at the pass, and then Parisi, and it just goes high on the short side. It just looked like Sandstrom wasn't quite expecting that. He did try to get up, but not a lot of room up there, but... Sandheim on for Hayes. And then a big body check delivered, and Delorier jumps on Romano. Just ragdolling him here, and everybody will grab a hold. And then Tony D'Angelo winds up throwing punches with Wallstrom. That's just D'Angelo looking for a fight. And those two are squared off, and Wallstrom responds with a few lefts. But this one will continue on as the linesmen are occupied, and Wallstrom throwing some rapid punches and wrestles down D'Angelo. One for the road. There was nothing wrong with that hit from Alex Romano. No, it was clean and... Into the score sheet, and then on the right side of your screen, Tony D'Angelo just reaches in and pulls Wallstrom out of the pile. Run the timeout on the Philadelphia Flyers. The frustration will continue for Philadelphia. They've lost 10 in a row. The Islanders, they've won their fourth straight tonight, 5 2. Oh, no, no, no.